What happened? You're alive. Hi, Shabbat Shalom. Happy Shabbat. Friday. I love you. She's, I'm so happy. It's going to be such a good weekend. Seen what she was doing. You don't want to see what I was doing. Okay, give me a kiss, baby. First of all, it's been a full day, but we just came off of our Shabbat candle lighting with beautiful friends and family who we call our family. And I'm going to give some shout outs to who attended. And there have been some regular attendees, which I'm really grateful for having participated and joined us for an evening that we're dedicating to what we're calling patience and peace and fortitude on top of that, okay? So some of these people are some of the most special people in our lives, and they include, first and foremost, our children. First I say my beautiful husband, then I Why say- Why are you so close to me? Then I say my beautiful children. So thank you, Alex, for joining us. And also thank you, Lindsay and Elliot, for coming from Caldwell, New Jersey and joining us every Friday night since we've done this for the past few weeks. It has been really joyous. And then I want to thank our friends who have regularly attended and mean so much to me. And that is Heidi and Rob Schnapp. And you start naming and all yes, the yes, for tonight. No, just for tonight. Oh, yeah, Lynn yeah. and Jess Sternstein. And I thank you. And last week, Lynn and Jess moms both made special appearances. Well, tonight Heidi's mom, Judy, came on. And I love Judy very much as I do Jess and Lynn's moms. Um, I'm sorry, my mom didn't join us tonight. Um, they were a little tired, but I will say that I was very, very happy to see Robert's parents who have tuned in every week since we've launched this candle lighting Shabbat service. And then I will give one more shout out to a very special friend, someone that we love very much, Doreen Daly, her husband Alex, and of course, Dana and, and, and um, Alexa are their children. Dana came on. Um, she has... Um, a piece at the Moncler Art Museum. So I have to say it was an evening of love and um, I look forward to it every Friday night. It certainly rolls around very fast. It did, it did. And just so any of you who are watching know, if we're not saying hello to you, hello to you, it's because we're using a new interface. We're testing it out for our live show on Monday. Just by the way, I think the tagline is Serenity and, Now! And, and, uh, <laughs> So if we don't say hello to you, it's because said? we don't see you <laughs> signing on. So if you want us to say hello to you, all you have to do is type in the comments, like, hello. And by the way, and we'll, we can um, even more than say hello. We but can that's actually... only if we're live. Like, Eddie, if you're okay. watching <laughs> tomorrow and we don't say hello to you, it's because we're not live. <laughs> so anyways, I look forward every Friday night to our Shabbat candle lighting. I also, most people look forward to the weekend. I really have to be honest with you. I'm not really sure why you're calling it the weekend because really every day is kind of started to feel like the same. Ra Alex, our son actually said to us earlier, I said, it's Friday. He said, no, it's not. I said, yeah, yes, it is. He says, no, it's not. I said, yes, it is. And, uh, okay. And then he finally agreed me because the truth of the matter is it is Friday, April um, what is it? April what? 17th. It says it up there. It says, right. I'm glad that we are able to have a reference point. Um, today's episode is dedicated to um, impatience, patience and impatience, strength and fortitude and peace. And I think on Shabbat, most of all, I think what I used to love about going to temple on Friday nights, and I didn't grow up with it, is looking forward to that quiet time. And, you know, I don't have much that. quiet in my life. Robert, I looked forward to kind of decompressing and saying what but I was Holly wanted to go out today. Okay, so let's rewind a little bit to earlier today versus how I'm feeling so joyous and, and in my heart is full right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so no, it's not that I wanted to go out today. He is incorrect. This morning we had a plan to get up and out of here. The, the unfortunate part was we didn't know the destination of where we had to go. And Robert had to so be back. So timing was for that. Meeting. Holly needed timing. to go on her own. Okay. And to run I, an errand. Okay. And I was, I honestly, by the way, I have to say, I think I, I, I was telling your sister this earlier. Unfortunately, she was lemon zesting and preparing her dinner for tonight. So she didn't come on. But I will tell you. She was lemon zesting. It was very funny because I said, what is that sound I hear? You know, like everything was heightened. Oh, I'm zesting a lemon. She did. That's what she was doing. She, it was, sounded like you were zesting a lime. 
No, she was <laughs> she was testing a lemon. I but I thought she was grating garlic actually. How does that sound? No, I thought she was what grating garlic. Like? Anyways. Would let it me, be grading anything or okay. zesting anything? So let me just tell you, before I left the house this morning alone, which was not my, 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 by the way, was not my intention. I wanted to leave the house with Robert. He's my navigator. He is my captain. He was going to take me as a passenger in the car for a ride, for a ride just so we could have a little bit of to outside see what, time. See what the world okay. looks now, like. Robert has seen the outside world because he's been the designated shopper and take care of things. Honestly, I have to. I, I, Lindsay I, and Alex are very upset with shopping. them. I've been having an affair. Uh, I know you're not okay because you, you you just love me too much. So anyway, so this is the thing. Okay, he my children are very upset with him. They want to be the designated. Is it the affair? The, okay, you are just really stupid. So here, what do people? Didn't... What do people do? Like if you have like a concubine, like a you know a mistress, Robert. Robert, like you can't see your mistress Robert, in lockdown. Robert, you're stuck is, with your wife, or, or stuck with the person you don't want to be with. We're very lucky to have each other. Um, I'm Lindsay, stuck with my mistress. Lindsay, you're gonna say very, I'm very. I'm not really sure. What is very, we, very? Mean? We're very, very lucky. So what is very, very. No, no. Let me get back to a second, okay? So, Daddy. So, our children are very concerned. I'll get back to because Lindsay's going on very, very. She'll elaborate on that because I honestly forgot about what I was saying already. But I'm gonna get back on track. Our children are very concerned, specifically Lindsay, our daughter, very, very upset that not only, I mean, she now knows that I went out today, but for the most part, I haven't been out for a month and I feel like I'm like going to go a little stir crazy, but I'm fine. But Robert has been the designated, like I said, goer. And Lindsay is I'm the beyond. designated goer. She is beyond upset. What does because, that mean? Because you're in the category of potential of harm. That, yeah, but I she have, wants I, but you. I've lived the longest. That's her love letter. I've lived the longest oh. and, and I've seen wait, it. I've let me just it. tell you. you so know, wait, so time. I'm ready to leave the house and I want you all to know that Robert says to me, this is how you wear the mask. Okay. How he wants it. Lindsay wants to know. Why okay, because daddy is putting your comments on the stream. He is the executive producer and he can do whatever he wants. Whatever okay, I so, right? I give you, I sure. give you total part, carte blanche, which is a beautiful word, by the way. Look it up. So, Robert, did you have a carte blanche? Did you have a carte yeah, blanche? I think the, I, the charge card, carte blanche. Uh, you know, I don't know if I did, but that was one of the first that charge cards. Carte yeah. blanche. Okay, so Daddy says to me, Robert says to me this morning. He says to me, "I'm just letting you know." He did not want me to leave the house. He says, "Here's how you wear the mask. Wear the gloves. Don't go near anyone." Do you know even know how to take the gloves off yes, properly? Yes, but listen to me, inside out. But listen to me. This is what's important. Okay. Is he says to me, this is the best. This is the kicker. He says to me, I'm just letting you know that I am throwing all of your stuff away. I'm throwing all of your stuff away when you die. I'm like, if I'm dead, what do I care? So anyways, okay, he's like you threatening not, me. You better not he's, die before he's me. He's threatening me. Okay, you so let's move forward. Yeah, okay, wait. Me. Let's move forward onto happier times. Not. You have a second husband to have. Robert, I don't want another husband. We okay. Oh, I'm you're gonna get snatched okay, up in I, three weeks. It's not the point. I want you. Okay, so stop. Give me a kiss. Come on, I love you. I'm, stop I'm tired it. You're being with the kissing. stupid. Oh my god, my singing and my dancing and my kissing. Okay, listen. So now wait, I'm gonna get better. It gets better. Talk about the patience. Robert calls it impatience. Okay, so I leave the house, and I oh. The person I'm going to, to get something from, he asked me if I could please get him a cup of coffee and he would like it light with cream or two Splenda. So I said, oh. That's not coffee. That's I'm milk. only. Oh. It's milk with Splenda. <laughs> so cream with Splenda. So I used to work with a woman who used to drink hot chocolate, like the mix hot chocolate, and yeah. she would put five sugars in it. Really? Yeah. And it had sugar in it already. Yes. Okay. It wasn't sugar Linda, free, right? Linda. Okay, she Linda. Was great. Okay. So listen to this, right? Because I want to tell my two impatient stories. Because I have two. And then I will let you go. Okay. Robert can talk about whatever he wants. Oh about. no, we're not letting you go. Well, no, I'm actually no. have some quotes to share with you. Thank you, Robert. No, okay, wait, no, listen. No, no. Okay, listen. We're only on my nine minutes. We've got nine minutes to go. This is what we gotta go. This is what I gotta tell you. I leave the house. Robert has a, a, a an important meeting call at eleven o'clock. I need to be back by one o'clock. This is around 1030. So Robert doesn't come with me to go to Morristown because he needs to be home on a Zoom meeting with a number of people. Okay. He doesn't want me to leave. I leave. 
I leave. Are you going to count? Are you I just, yes, recount yes, every yes. minute? Right, listen, I go, no, not every minute because I have a lot of other things in my head. Listen, I go to Dunkin' Donuts. We just, I decide with this with Robert to go to Dunkin' Donuts on Route 10 in Livingston. It's actually East Hanover. I go to the Dunkin' Donuts. Now, I have not been out. So I am like so. So she doesn't realize that. I, English is no longer spoken. And wait, States. wait. And the line at the drive-in at Dunkin' Donuts was 20 deep. Lindsay said to me, yeah, she was saw a Starbucks, the same thing. And you would think, just go home and make your darn coffee. Okay? But no. But you were there. I was there because I was picking it up for someone else, not for me. Okay. I was, okay. I was, And I actually would have treated the person in front of me Understood. and behind me. Understood. Except for these ridiculous people. Understood. Listen what happens. I go to Dunkin' Donuts. I'm trying to um, load my app, which I have. And I know there's money on it. And it won't load. Robert gives me some cash to go to Dunkin' Donuts to get the coffee. I go to get the coffee, and I'm online for I don't know Did how you pay long. Back for the coffee? No, I go online. I go online. Don't you love that. No, can you pick me up a roast beef sandwich, <laughs> bag of potato chips, a half a pound of mozzarella? And I, a semolina. Listen, don't make fun of it. I like him. Okay, stop. I'm I don't. Kidding. I don't mind. I'm kidding. Okay, I like him a lot. I'm kidding. I like the person that I was going to a lot. Okay, a lot. Okay, I think he's a really good man like you. So really, drop it. So then, and I doubt he watches this. So anyways, because he'd be done in the first minute. He has no patience. Talk about no patience. This person has no patience. He knows who he is. We don't have to say. Anyways, I doubt he got this far, and we're eleven minutes in. Okay. Listen to this. I'm at Dunkin' Donuts. I'm looking for the, on the menu for the microphone of the way to give my order. I don't see it. I don't see it. What do you mean? Doesn't it come on automatically? I, don't they say hello? No. What's your order, please? No. <laughs> right. it gets better. Were you at the I'm wrong like, menu? No. <laughs> I'm at the menu. I don't see anyone ordering. I don't see anyone doing anything. I go to the window and they said, oh, no. <laughs> Have to go back and take and make your order. I said, no, excuse me. I'm not going to do that because I just waited a long time. And all I need is a coffee, light with cream with two Splenda. And by the way, <laughs> I, I'm on my free donut. They said, you can't have the free donut unless you show us the app. I said, my app won't load. I use the app. I'm a regular loyalty Dunkin' so Donuts went customer. To on free donut Friday. And I did not get and a donut. And donut. I asked Alex what he wanted. He wanted strawberry frosted with sprinkles. Is that I was, what he ordered? That's what he yeah. ordered. Okay, wait. That's, I like a plain crawler. Ah, I would have got a jelly donut. Oh, oh so how, how fascinating, by the way, is that information? By the way, you if you are donut, still listening you to us. a jelly donut. No. So you're a jelly donut. I like the crawler. But, no. I like, no, no. I like the plain stick. I like the plain stick. Oh, my God. Or a plain donut. But I prefer the stick because it's bigger. Come on. <laughs> donut. Oh my God, Robert, it's so delicious. It is so buttery and delicious. But it doesn't matter because, by the way, Dunkin' Donuts, okay, said, no, you can't have a donut. I'm thinking in such awful times, it's it's free donut Give Friday. Donut. Give me the donut. No. By the way, when he gave me my change, because I'm, so I'm with my gloves and I know not to touch anything. So I'm like getting the money, my change for my $10, and all the change fell on the floor. Now he didn't, he didn't care. He didn't care. So you had to get out of the car. Oh, I, I said that. I, I said, keep the change. <laughs> <laughs> Robert, I didn't even tell you that part. That's I was like, like all the change fell on the floor. I heard it. I was like, holy shit. This guy is, a, they are like really not nice. Gets better. You're not done? <laughs> no, I'm not done. So, okay. So I'm coming home. Uh, I, but I heard the story a million times. No, I got to tell it one more time. I got to tell, no, you heard it three times, not a million times. Feels like a million. Talking about impatience, okay? Okay. Because by the way, I'm going to give a quote in between all of this ranting. You have to find the peace and patience within yourself to be a model. Wait, to be a model and example to others and not judge. And that is really very important. And by the way, that was Judith Light, an American actress who I loved. Holly, I loved why, on One Life Why Tell do it. we have this background? Okay, yeah. we'll get to that in a second. First, let's finish with peace and patience. I have one more story and then we'll talk about the background. Keep them in suspense. That's a very important component. Okay. Find so my message to you, okay, is to find peace of mind and patience. Okay, patience and fortitude will conquer all things. Ralph Waldo Emerson, be tougher, wiser, stronger. Wisdom requires patience. Okay, and we need spiritual growth. And one more thing, okay, because I looked up quotes about patience, patience, and peace. Inner peace can be seen as the ultimate benefit 
of Practicing Patience by Alan Locos. And I, I have to tell you, I love all my little post-it notes that I have all my notes on, my cue cards. Okay, I'm going to tell you one thing, and then Robert is going to continue why we're in front of our backdrop, our step and repeat, which most people don't realize is just a photo backdrop, with our branding behind it. I then went to the bank. And there's a woman in front of me. She was there a very long time. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Then I honk and I ask her like, is there a reason it's taking so long? Then, then she's done with her transaction. This is like 30 minutes later. I would have backed out. Of <laughs> no, place. no, I was close to backing out because I'm like, <laughs> when do I leave? Is she done already? So then... Then, wait a second. Then, okay, she's in front of me. It's an older woman in a large white vehicle, okay? Like, like um, what was the guy in the white um, then chase? O.J. Simpson? Yeah. Okay, like wait. So she's in front of me. You know, it was like a white Bronco. I'm thinking, so then she's done with her transaction. I know it is because it's too big back. Okay, and she's sitting there. I don't know doing what. And I said. Count and I, her money. She and had to count her I, money. I honk again. She pulls up and she says a very not nice thing to me. <laughs> and she continues to say, you don't have to get to work. And I'm like, I actually told my sister-in-law, she says, how do you usually know what you have to do? I said, actually, I do. I had a recording in 15 minutes from the time that she that she said, who cares? My time, I can do whatever I want. Did she give you the finger? No, no, no. Did but you let give me, her the finger? No, I just said, I do actually you have to get to work. have given each other the finger. And I couldn't believe it. And I got to tell you, all I want to do when I was on that Dunkin' Donuts line, I would have liked to treat the person in front of me, behind me. No. I wanted. Did you? No, I didn't because they were so not nice at Dunkin' Donuts. I couldn't believe they didn't give me the free donut. They cost like three cents. Okay. Anyways, why is the backdrop behind us, Robert? I am done. Okay. We have four minutes that you can talk about our backdrop. Because I spit on my <laughs> you're frothing, and I'm hungry. <laughs> oh boy! Oh uh, so, boy! Um, Monday, four twenty. Uh, this Monday, we're having a celebration of the cannabis plant for health and wellness through CBD, That's through it. hemp. That's through the cannabis plant, and education and our pop talks. That's, um, just so you know, the pop talks. We're inspired by the TED Talks, and we have... No, the TED Talks were inspired by the Pop Talks. Oh, really? Wow. Um, and so we're going live at high noon. We'll be on Facebook. We'll be on YouTube. We'll be on our... Kind of pop-up website. Kind of pop-up website. Um, we'll be on the big screen in Times Square, if you happen to be in Times Square on Monday... Um, anyway, we've got like some really amazing like 20 um, featured guests. 20 featured guests. And we, we have some amazing CBD brands, brands and entertainment. Entertainment. And giveaways. And giveaways. And really great win. giveaways from a magical butter machine. Enter to win a magical butter machine. Link is in the box. Yeah, but we also have, but we also have some amazing and giveaways other prizes. We've from got mood Jane, mats. From mood mats. From We've Lock and Key Remedies. I'll show you my mood mat. I had my drink on. We have can of pop up mood mats. God, Michael, and Michael's going to come on and tell you more about the mats. Michael Briotti from Mood Mats, the Mood Mats creator. Um, we're going to have some giveaway. We'll have a prize from Lock and Key. I, I said Lock and Key Lock is going to give us. And um, and a couple of, listen, this can also be surprises. Because we really believe, as I put my cue cards down, what we really believe is expect the unexpected. So we are always thinking about original ways to um, deliver an enjoyable experience for you, most importantly. Um, we want to show you that there is um, possibility and opportunity in the times we're living in now. Um, actually, even David Kunick is going to be talking about getting ahead of the curve, not flattening the curve, getting ahead of the curve. Put your gear, put your put your goals in gear, okay? There's a lot of opportunity. So when we come on with this enthusiasm, it's because we've been talking to lots of people that are embracing this space in a really professional way, okay? And that's what matters, is giving content that matters to you at the end of the day. So Or beginning of the day. Or middle of the day. Right. I love you so much. All right. Keep it in your pants. Um, all right. Are we done? I am so glad dinner. that our daughter was um, 
she was totally engaged into our live. And I love you, Lindsay. And I love you, Alex. And I love Celine. And I love Marshmallow. And I love Al Elliot. And I love you. And um, you are almost 26 in a week, almost, but not yet. And uh, we love you very much. And we love everybody who takes the time to view us. Have an amazing weekend. We will be back. Soon. Very soon.